And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Jarvan Shen. That's right. We're going to be playing um, a new Jarvan deck that I think may be the best Jarvan deck that we've played so far. Hopefully. I mean, that's that's always the hope. Um, we're going to pair Jarvan with Shen and we're going to be playing this basically like Fiora Shen. Right? Like we, We've been playing Fiora Shen for months and months now, playing with and against this kind of deck and it's um, always looked very good. We're going to be switching out our champions, though. We'll play Jarvan at the six mana spot over like Scythria and stuff like that. And therefore, we're going to have Laurent Protege in the three mana spot um, over the Fiora. Because we do want to have like challengers to pair with Shen, plus Protege with that four health. It can challenge things and stay alive afterwards, which is perfect for leveling up Jarvan. This deck should level up Jarvan better than any of the previous decks that we've played. Um, having our. Um, our allies survive uh, four plus strikes from enemy blockers. Um, we have lots of ways to challenge smaller units and have our allies survive also with barriers as well. So I think that these two will pair really well together, Jarvan and Shen. And then of course also we talked about leveling up our Jarvan, but Jarvan's also going to help us level up our Shen because Jarvan of course has a barrier as well. And if we ever do get to challenge with Jarvan, um, it will also have a barrier after it's leveled up. And so those extra barriers should help level up our Shen that needs to see allies gain barriers four plus times. Um, I'm also going to try Golden Ages. I, I've been pretty impressed with this card. We're going to try a full three copies of this. Um, I kind of debated between playing, you know, three deny, two Golden Ages, or the other way around. We'll see how these play out. If um, if we are a little disappointed in this card, it could definitely be a third deny. So that's, that's um, you know... That's something that could be switched there. But I want to try out the new card. You know, I'm, as you all know, I always like trying out new stuff. And this is, a, again, another barrier thing with Shen. We get some extra attacks. That could be cool. Extra attacks means that, you know, surviving um, from whenever our opponents block. That's important. And everything like that. So let's go and give it a try. Jarvan Shen will go play five games and ranked. Here we go. Better. Karma. I haven't played against Karma in a while, and this one with Draven. Those don't seem to be the most likely duo. Um, I kind of want to mulligan this Greenglade Caretaker. Yeah. I'm going to mulligan Greenglade Caretaker. I know it's a one-drop and we get to attack on turn one, but that's not necessarily what our deck's always about. It's just not as powerful as some of our other cards. I don't really have any barrier stuff. I do want to continue to have a whole lot of protection for the Shaper of Rivers. Okay, really glad uh, they didn't have Ravenous Flock. Magic. Okay. You know, trade two for two, we draw a card. Wasn't the best possible for us because, you know, we don't get to... Like, if we if that would have happened, we got to untap with two River Shapers, attack with both of them, sharp side, whichever one they block. You know, life would have been pretty good. All right, I'm going to play the Protégé over the Screeching Dragon so I get to keep sharp side available. Really like the Deny draw, though, in this kind of matchup. From what we've seen so far. Alright, so I can attack. Sharp they block, I sharp sight, I draw a card, or I just pass and save the two spell mana for doing that later. Save the two spell mana. So I'd like to play Screeching Dragon. I won't have Deny available. I'm going to play this. And that's why I kept my two spell mana available. Sweet. 
Love it. Another deny. Summon two Legion Marauders. That's a cool card, but I'm sorry, opponent. This is just really good mana for me. Karma Marauders! Well, our Jarvins have been doing a whole lot. <laughs> I mean, we haven't had Shen either. Hey, there's Shen. What's up, Shen? Let's have some fun. I walk the space between worlds. Crows will have what's left. Understood. Combat tricks is what my deck does the best. Yeah, it's hard hard to beat the the Shen deck, the River Shaper deck. Really, the River Shaper deck in combat tricks. You fought with honor. But they fought with honor. Uh, Zero Lease. The best version of Azir Aggro. Do I want single combat? I'm keeping the 135. I'm going to replace single combat. Two damage. Single combat was a two mana spell that, you know, I have I'm going to be saving my two spell mana. But it just wasn't a great two mana spell. Shape the land and give it life. What's that noise? You're in over your head. That aristocrat makes me pretty sad. Please, I have connections. A gift from the river folk. Look at that. Jarvin's already one out of four towards level up. If they have, uh, good. Never mind. Alright, so we're gonna have a lot of little attackers. So happy. So two, four, six. I'm taking six. Yeah, it's difficult to level up Jarvan for sure. I think our deck should do a good job of leveling up Jarvan. What form will the waters take? Good. So this will be three barriers for the Shen. They do get to kill... They get to kill Shen. Yeah. They get to kill Shen. But... You know, I'm I'm killing two of their things for free. Like this this attack's definitely worth it. Yeah, you know, I'm trading Shen for all three of those and drawing a spell. Like it's it's still worth it. Shen was so close to leveling up though, three out of four. So close. Alright, so now Jarvin's at three out of four also. I mean I only I have two challengers. They had three four power units. I can't challenge three units with two challengers. I mean, I traded... Yeah, but I mean, we got rid of the 3-2 also. 
But I guess the 3 2 would have. We were going to be able to kill the 3 2 anyway, I guess that's what you're saying. Ooh. They grow up so fast. Not challenging the 2 1. Alright, so this is me taking another 2 4 6. Yeah, so they they would rather attack with that caretaker and have me kill that than them get a spider. Maybe they forgot about like that they were putting three things into play. I don't know. Ah, uh, gross. Because yeah, I was gonna be able to open attack Jarvan challenge that kind of stuff. Attack for lethal. Um, but yeah, this is kind of annoying because. So I can't open attack and Jarvan comes in, but I kind of want to play this Golden Aegis and stuff, so... I'm going to play this first. My shield is yours. Sweep them away. Uh -huh. So I think, you know, I think I want to rally. River Shaper is insane, though. <laughs> like, look how many cards we have. River Shaper is amazing. Everyone's a garden. Whichever one of these two they don't block, I'll Sharp Sight. Okay, there we go. That'll do. 2 0 for Jarvan Chen. Jarvan putting in some more work. Alright, we got Noxus and Sharima for some Sivir Swain. Ooh, we got Jarvan, we got Shen, we got single combat. I guess I don't know if this is a single combat matchup. Buried River Shaper or single combat could be kind of cool, though. All right, it's Mulligan the Jarvan, because it is still a six mana card. It's cool and everything, but we'll get it later. Okay, we're going to. Uh, get this one. So I play River Shaper, they probably kill River Shaper, right? Like, they gotta have, like, a good amount of, like, non-combat damage type stuff. Maybe I can get away... Yeah, so maybe we can keep the River Shaper alive just a tad longer. Get a couple of 3-2s out here. Because so I can play River Shaper on turn 4, and then play Shen on turn 5. Like, if I had the attack token turn 4, if they had the attack token this turn, I'd be much more inclined to play River Shaper and then into Shen so I can, you know, have that going. But without having the attack token... We can slow down a tad. I don't think they're going to play Avalanche. Cause you never know these days, though. I know what I Things are crazy. River shape the land and give it life. It's a living. Ooh, good draw, good draw. Two worlds, one balance. Yeah, Levi Leviathan is a good epic. That that is that card is pretty epic. Of course, he had. You're in over your head. <clears throat> um, Riptide Rex was an awesome epic for a while. All right, they're going down to six. I've really liked this Golden Aegis card, though, in this deck. How we've been getting all these attacks. It's been pretty sweet. And I feel like if they had some kind of removal, they probably would have already played it already, but maybe they were waiting for me to tap out. You know, maybe they're just going to culling strike this thing right now, and I'm going to be sad. Okay. Does that, like, help them somehow? I guess Scorched Earth? 
Okay, yeah, Scorcher. Okay, well. Still not that bad. We noticed this yesterday when we played Sivir that Quick Attack and Spell Shield don't really help against Barrier. I think we're just letting this River Shaper die, though. Yeah, I'm just going to let it die. I don't think it's worth protecting when I can just do, play two more. Get him, Jarvan. If you mean it'll cost you your life, then yes. There we go. Jarvan. Fine work, soldiers. Fine work. All right. Rankton said 20. Another matchup where barrier should be pretty good. Um, but do I want barrier rally in my opener? I, I want, like... Repost kind of barrier. So I'll mulligan that. Because let's see. So I, I do have the attack token on the odd turn. So I, I can attack on three. I can attack on five. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to mulligan it. I, I really want like a, a two mana spell. What's up, Snapples? That's a fun word to say right there. Snapples. Snapples. Anyway, uh, I'm a returning player. Used to love to play Heimer Vi on launch. Is there is there currently any deck with a similar feel? Um, so yeah, if you like kind of like your slower control decks, um, right now Targon is the region that is the best with those kind of decks, and the champion that's the best with those kind of decks is Aphelios. Water changes but never breaks. Um. And so maybe something with like Aphelios and Zoe and or Aphelios and Twisted Fate. Um, I th that's that's probably what I'd say is probably the, the most similar to Heimer to old Heimer Vi. Um, that's true. If you just if you just want free, that's that's true. If you just want free three one free elusive three ones like Heimerdinger used to give you, you can just play Twisted Fate Fizz and Wiggly Burblefish. But <laughs> that's a def different. Kind of deck, but but I guess it does revolve around like turn six, just vomiting out a bunch of elusive three ones. I walk this space between worlds. Leave nothing standing. I mean, still a two for one. Alright, so I'll play the Protégé so I have my four mana spells available instead of playing the Screeching Dragon. I'll make a note. So, like, I attack, I challenge the 2-2 with Protégé, and then Spirit's Refuge, the River Shaper. That doesn't seem that great. Yeah, that, that's that's definitely not that great. I'm just gonna do this challenge. So, basically, I'm... Right now, my pro my protege dies, and so I can spend four mana to just get a pro to put a protege into play, and that's probably worth it. Good trading a mana for them for sure, but I'm still up a couple of cards. Bow to no one. Keep River Shaper alive. Whoa, we got a donation deck from Really Powerful Wizard. Starlet Seer, Lucky Find Synergy. Make big overwhelm things. Cool. I will write you down. Looks like we need a new page. 
They have another plus three, plus one. Yeah. Okay. Alright, Starlet, Seer, Lucky, Fine, Deck. Alright, got you written down. Oh, Renekton. Okay. So I can kill one of these with Concerted Strike. I guess I should just Bright Seal Protector first. Yeah. Lucky Seer. How close are you to leveling up? Not at all. Alright, so we get to draw a spell and we get the dragon going. Oh, if only we had one more mana and could single combat from there. That would have been nice. Um, Man, I want to play you, Jarvan. <laughs> uh, but I guess I should play the Bright Steel Formation, but I really want to play the Jarvan. Uh, what do y'all think? Do I play the absolutely much, much better card, or do we just play the Jarvan? Jarvan? Alright, I'm in there. Level up this Jarvan. Let's go. Dude, that's a sweet level up, though. Yeah, that's really cool. Worth. Yeah, good thing we had Jarvan. We, we, there's no way we could have won this game without him. Free attack challenging an enemy. We don't really need to play this Bright Seal formation. I don't know, that card's just not really fair. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. My shield is yours. Nah, I don't want no, this card's just not fair. We don't need to play it. All right, there we go. We're four and zero. banners. Demacia prevails. Okay, best Jarvan deck, NA. All right, Lissandra Trundle with Ionia. Ionia bounces a bunch of stuff. Okay, so you're gone, and you're gone, and. You're gone. Alright. River Shaper plus Bells to protect River Shaper. Oh, or some more little things that die to Avalanche. Okay, not the best mulligan. I wanted to see, like, your star shapings and everything. Not star shaping. What? What's the card? Sharp Sight. Sharp Sight. That's the card I want. Sharp Sight. To protect River Shaper. Okay, that can kind of protect River Shaper. All right, now it definitely can. We swim within the flows of magic. Magic. I'd like to see some denies. Thank you. 
And sharp sight, very good. Alright, I could just go the Golden Ages and attack again. But I'll get Protege in play. I'm not playing Screeching Dragon. The reason why I'm saying I'm not playing Screeching Dragon is because then it... Well, I guess I still have Sharp Sight for protection if I play Screeching Dragon. Okay. In case of, like... Yeah, that's whatever. I was gonna say, in case of Avalanche or, like, the 8-mana Trundle spell, Ice Quake. Probably mean a swift foot. We deal two to all of other units. So I have nine mana, so if I go deny. I guess I do. Shaper, draw another deny for me. Hey, Cosmo uh, Cosmetropolis. No, oh, I want deny for Swiftfoot. <clears throat> yeah, basically that. Okay, there you go. You figured it out. I was, I was about to say that. So there you go. Thank you so much, Cosmetropolis. I really, really appreciate that. Um, that's, you know, that's the same as doing a $5 sub for me. And yeah, so I, I really appreciate you spending the time to figure out how to do the, the Twitch Prime sub. Okay, so two damage to all my stuff again. I'm going to uh, just go with Sharp Sight here. And let that happen. And you're gonna try to kill this 8-8. Eight, eight. A gift from the river folk. Not a deny, but not bad. So nine mana. I mean I guess I might as well just do this. Force them to do stuff. See what happens. Yeah, not too surprised there. Can we draw deny, please? We're gonna be running out of spells pretty soon. We're gonna have spells that are not denying. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we haven't had either of our champs. We actually haven't drawn our champs that much, but we have drawn lots of river shapers. And river shaper is basically just another champion for us. Hmm. Yeah, because then this thing costs zero. Because if I let this happen, it gets rid of my barrier, they get to play another one, and then they get to... Oh, no, they did have... They had a deny. So this is going to kill, like, everything but my dragon. Shaper down. Yeah, but they're okay. So Jack, so that's so that's not correct. So you, you're saying that repost plus sharp sight on the um, on the river shaper was lethal. It would be a lethal attempt, but it wasn't. 
Like, you can't ever say something's lethal when your opponent has a whole bunch of mana and a whole bunch of cards. It you can it could be yes I could have attempted lethal but they're an Ionia deck they're they're playing all these concussive palms and steel tempest and stuff like that as we saw there I, I thought it was very likely they just if I just do that they just play another steel tempest or concussive palm and I just wasted those cards and that just isn't isn't worth the attempt I really hope they don't have Mina Swiftfoot. Because that's the thing, is Bright Steel Formation, not a good play against Mina Swiftfoot. So I play that, they play Swiftfoot, I'm I'm in a bad spot. Who does not know the name Feet were made for Roman and chicken. Might not have wings, they'll fly. I really needed that second deny, or you know, maybe I just really shouldn't have used the deny earlier. So I think I had the cards to win this game. I think I was kind of overconfident and made some mistakes. I definitely used my deny too early. 100%. One hundred percent on that. I need to just save deny for Mina Swiftfoot. My deck didn't really help me out. I thought I, I kind of thought that like how we were drawing all those other River Shaper cards. I was I was I thought that that we could just draw draw the second deny. My deck didn't really help me out. We drew every single Sharp Side, every single Spirits Refuge. Um, you know we we and uh, every Golden Ages or two of the three, and like one of the repos right. Like we drew like all sorts of spells, but we we did not draw the second deny. And I, I was pretty confident that we would be drawing the second one, but we didn't. So, um, yeah, that was yeah, that was a mistake not drawing the second deny. So yeah, I, I could have yes, I, I should have not used my deny. I should have used like Spirits Refuge just to save the two two whenever they did that two damage to everything. Um, and I think if I just do that, I think that that could be a lot different game. They did have that really clutch deny to stop my that they had the clutch deny to stop that concerted strike. That was huge. Um, but yeah, I think if if we if we you know hindsight run that run that game back, I say my deny. I think I win that game. But I didn't, and we ended up losing. So a four one instead of a five and zero. Oh. Um, this deck was really cool though. Like you know, this is again River Shaper is amazing, and I liked playing Jarvan. I thought Jarvan did fit in here really well. I would really want to fit in a third deny. Deny is pretty awesome, and so like we talked about that. But I have to say that I was really impressed with Golden Ages. I was really impressed with that card. So finding room for a third deny, not not real easy. Um, maybe it could be over a concerted strike or a single combat. Maybe over one of those you could play the third deny. Maybe you just only need one bright steel formation with having Jarvan at the top end. Also with like this barrier and everything. Maybe you don't need like five of these top end cards. That's that's probably pretty likely. And so maybe that's where you could fit in, fit in that third deny. Because um, there are lots of these. Uh, bigger decks like where deny is going to be pretty good, so that that could be the thing of we're pe we're playing an extra top end card with the Jarvan, don't need two bright steel formations anymore, but um, you know if you play against other like fewer Shen decks right like bright steel formation is like the card that kind of wins the game so you know you may want a second one there so it's basically there's what I'm trying to say is this is 41 cards that I want. I want I want all 41 of these cards. And so, like, which one of these cards do you take out? I didn't play. That's the card that I took out for my very last one. But 
maybe we got to take out something else. Um, I do think that two spirits refuge is probably worth it against these these all these Azir and aggro decks and stuff. So I don't think I'd want to take out a spirits refuge. Um, but it's somewhere it's some spell or I mean maybe it's Greenglade caretaker, right? Like caretaker is cool and all. But did we, we never really had Caretaker. Did we really miss having Caretaker? I mean, I guess Caretaker helps against aggro being a one drop. But maybe that's the card. I don't know. <laughs> if you have a preference, here, here you go. This is 41 cards. You can take out a card. Cards you can take out. You can take out a Bright Steel Formation, Concerted Strike, Spirit's Refuge, Golden Ages, Deny, Single Combat, Greenglade Caretaker. You can take out one of those cards. If So whichever one of those is your least favorite, feel free to take it out. I think I would maybe just go with the uh, Bright Steel Formation for now. All right, but anyway, that's Jarvan Shen. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.